this is a kiln brick also called a refractory brick and I'm going to show you how I turn this into a microwave kiln you can see I've marked it almost halfway so that it's square the section over here is the section I'm going to use for the kiln I'm going to be cutting it with a cut-off saw with a metal cutting blade it cuts it like a hot knife through butter Right, so this is the piece we'll use. I'm going to mark off the sides and where I'm going to hollow the brick out. And the kiln has to have a lid, so I'm going to cut a slice of this leftover half and that will become the lid. see it's not a hundred percent flat but that's easy to flatten we just rub it on a block or some concrete and that flattens out very quickly there we go nice little lid Then you've got to mark the inside of the kiln, the area that you're going to carve out or core out, and the sides have got to be 15 millimeters wide. So that there has got to be 15 mils. And then you'll be carving out this inside section. And we do that with one of these, a corbett, a diamond corbett. They are diamond impregnated, but they're really not very expensive. So now we carry on, we break out these cores and then we'll smoothen out the sides and perfect it. When you're doing this, you mustn't lever against the side, otherwise, the side might break out. You use the other cores as a leverage. And you'll hear the snap as they break.
So there we got the rough interior of the kiln and we'll now use a little grinding stone also in the chuck of this drill press to smoothen out the inside and perfect the sides. And I'll be using one of these, just a basic little grinding stone, emery wheel which I can put into the drill, drill chuck and smooth out the inside. <laughs> Perfect little sarcophagus. Then I often just use a base, a slice of this kiln brick to stick inside of there, like that, so that if I have a glass spill or if it sticks on the bottom, something happens, then it doesn't destroy the floor of the kiln. Then it just destroys a little slice, then I can replace this very easily. There we go. There's your basic. Microwave kiln. Next I'll show you how to make the elements that create the heat to melt whatever's inside of here. We need silicon carbide. This is a common regular grinding disc that we're going to cut up. We cut it with a ceramic disc. One of these diamond impregnated discs. I'm using one of my old ones because these stones are quite abrasive. So now we've got two slices, and now we'll just slice these in half, but I'm going to stick these into the vise before I do that. My toes are just too short to hold them. So here are all the pieces. we got the kiln, which we've hollowed out nicely there, and the inside base plate slips in there. And the elements. And 
and the lid. And you stick that in the microwave for about five or six minutes, depending on the strength of your microwave. Mine sometimes takes about eight minutes and it will melt glass, lead, gold, a variety of things. These are some of the cores which I cut in making the, the kiln that are cut out of the center. Don't throw these away, keep a few. These act as stands in your microwave. Put them like this and the kiln on top of that. Like that. Usually I use four. And that will prevent the glass from getting too hot and cracking your base, that, that base. Right, let's have a quick demonstration. Now in the bottom of the kiln, you always use a piece of kiln paper, kiln shelf paper. It's easily obtainable anywhere online. And in here I've got two pieces of the glass that I just broke. Normal bottle glass, these were wine bottles. Put this one down like that. That one on top of it. Alright, that's been going almost eight minutes now. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, you can't see it on the camera. That's just too bright, but that's hot. I can see the glass is molten. We'll take this out and let it cool off. You have to let it cool off properly, slowly. Only open it once it's cool to the touch. Alright, the bottle glass that we melted has cooled off now. Let's take a look what it looks like. There we go. You can see that the green has melted into the clear. These are some of the other pieces I've made recently. This is not bottle glass, this is spectrum glass. That's what it looks like here. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be making a lot more videos to show you all about this whole process.